Lesson 1, Polynomials, Definitions of Terms, Theory. Now, this is a general polynomial, px equals p0 plus p1x plus p2x squared, etc. And px is defined for all real x, that is, across the whole domain, and is continuous across this domain, and differentiable function of x. Now, to illustrate that, generally, what we'd have is, say, there's our axes here, and we have a nice smooth flowing curve that would keep on going like that. But no breaks in it and you can uh, work out gradients of tangents to every point along this particular curve. Ones that wouldn't work would be something like this. All right, there's your hyperbola and that would be px equals x to the minus 1. So in other words, all these powers here must be positive integers, all positive integers here, or in this case, it would be zero, and that's called a constant polynomial, and you can certainly have that would look like this. And then you start off here, just that part there would just be a straight line, that would be a parabola, and then on you go, cubic, quartic, and so on, and the most general one would look like this one here. Part 2. Now, if px equals naught, this is called the polynomial equation in x, and has degree n, this one here, degree n, and the real numbers x which satisfy the equation are called the real roots or zeros of the equation. Now, we've seen this type before. Um, if we, we go up to, to this one here, this x, x squared one, this is a different format. It's all px equals p naught plus p1x plus p2x squared, and we let that equal naught. There we have, that's our quadratic equation. We normally have a's, b's, and c's there. Right, so that's the polynomial equation in degree 2, which is the quadratic equation. If we add another one, let that equal naught. This is now the cubic equation, and so on. Now we don't, all these values uh, don't have to exist. This one definitely has to, if, if you've got degree 3, that must exist. But you could have just p3 x cubed equals 0. And that is a polynomial equation in degree 3. Or you could have another one over here, p1x plus this. That's still a polynomial equation in degree 3. The largest number determines the degree of the polynomial largest index of x indicates the degree of the polynomial. All right, in part 3, p naught is called the constant term. We talked about that earlier. So in other words, the term that does not have an x in it is called the constant term. Part 4, now if p naught equals p1 equals p2, all the way along to pn equals zero, and all those are zeros, well, this is called the zero polynomial. Example one, we have to find the degree, the coefficient of the highest power of x, and the constant term. Okay, so in the first case here, we look along here. Now, it doesn't matter where these are situated. We look along and find the x with the highest power, the highest index, and the, clearly it's this one here. So we can say the degree, degree equals 3. The coefficient, that is the number, or it's the p nor the p1, of the highest power of x. Well, it's clearly this one here. So the coefficient. is 4. And the constant term, well, here you see the constant with no x in it is also 4. So the constant term is 4. Right, and this one here, right, the degree is 5. Degree equals 5. Right, the constant, uh, the, the, the um, coefficient with, uh, of the highest power of x is here, this one, which is 3. So the coefficient is 3. And the constant term constant term is equal to this case here, negative 2.